Chief's Logistics coming up. Hey guys, this is Sam from what part of Canada? Calgary, Alberta. Okay, he found me on YouTube and he drove all the way down here to meet me. That's right. Um, we're still doing training with Marco and Tanika. So they're freight brokers. They have their freight brokerage license, TLT, um, Cheats Logistics. And they're going to be interviewing or just asking Sam some questions as a driver. So you can have a seat right here if you want to. <laughs> Let me make sure I can get all of y'all. Okay. Sam, how's it going, man? Good, 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 good. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. I heard about you on the phone and stuff, and uh, it's hurt me. You're a good driver. How long have you been driving for? Uh, five years, going on six. Five years? Oh, okay. Okay, what do you like about driving? Um, the scenery, the space away from uh, being in the warehouse or having so much supervisors in charge of the guys. Nice, man. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good deal, good deal. Five years, that's a, that's a long time. Yeah. Um, so what do you look for in a, in a company, a dispatch company, a company you do business with? Because I'm trying to set up, mm -hmm. um, constantly learning. Mm -hmm. So based on that, what I'm trying to do is um, find someone that understands mm -hmm. how to guide me okay. to be able to be consistent. Okay, got you. Got you. Because uh, you got money trying to pay paperwork, mm -hmm. and if you're driving and trying to do both hey. at the same time, it really mm -hmm. doesn't. Gotcha. Um, help you focus on what right the driving job that you're supposed to be doing. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good deal. Makes sense. Makes sense. Before you became an owner operator, that you are correct. Yes. Um, were you driving for a company? Um. Yeah. Um, when I got the license, I um, there's a company down in Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Iowa. It's called Ohio Transport. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I joined them for about um, a year. Then Celadon actually gave me the first opportunity mm -hmm. coming out of uh, Indiana. Okay. So with Celadon, they gave me uh, a truck the first day mm -hmm. and you could have leased on. But mm -hmm. I wasn't confident about what I was doing, right? Mm -hmm. So I basically worked with their truck for mm -hmm. um, eight months. Okay. okay. And I realized I, I enjoyed doing mm -hmm. this, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then. I was so far away from home, so I was mm -hmm. looking for something that mm -hmm. would bring me home. So I had an office down in Calgary, mm -hmm. and I talked to them, and they put me on board, and gotcha. I drove for them for about uh, nine months. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. And then from there, I was like, I'm ready to buy a truck. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> this is good crazy. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> well, congratulations, man. Yeah, you're doing you. it. You're doing it. Um, so do you, uh, I know you're from Toronto originally. No, no, no. Originally from Ghana, West Africa. Ghana, okay, okay. I'm, I'm based out of Calgary, Alberta. Okay. But before I got into trucking, mm -hmm. I always wanted to learn about my environment. Gotcha. So what I did was I used to party in the States and then party in Canada. Gotcha. So I'll drive cars, rental cars, and mm -hmm. just back when marijuana was not. It was those long drives. Right? Exactly. So I kept driving around. So I, I lived in Toronto. I lived in uh, Vancouver. Gotcha. I lived in uh, Regina. Okay. And all those various cities within Canada. And okay. Then, um, explored more in the States. And so when I got into driving, it was like, yeah, just a good transition to really gotcha. get to um, be confident because, you know, you, yeah. there's so many different yeah. uh, states, provinces, and everything. Right. Exactly. Good deal. Good deal. Um, so, you, would you prefer to be more local, or are you all over the place, wherever there's that, that <laughs> wherever your truck will take you, pretty much? At this stage, right now, uh -huh. right, because Alberta is based on oil industry, mm -hmm. and the market is pretty much monopolized. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on top of that, we don't have a lot of individual um, entrepreneurs. Okay. That wants to take the risk to. You know, run your own trucks, mm -hmm. and the load board is fairly new within mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. So um, it is hard to find a contract or find a load. And with the payments and stuff that I, I have and what I want to build, the only option is to go into the states and, and back. Gotcha. But then it's worth the drive. Gotcha. But if I if I could build something within the within Canada or even within um, Alberta, right? I, I don't mind. But that's that's right. the end goal. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But in the meantime, I gotta, I'm almost done paying off one. I'm getting the second one. Nice. Um, okay. Hopefully by tomorrow. Okay. So if that works out, then 
you know, you eventually once you pay them off, then you can put them in the city. It really doesn't cost you right anything after that. But right, got gotcha. you. In the meantime, to keep up with payments and gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Good deal. Good deal. Okay, okay. All right. Any more questions? No. That's it. That's it. By the okay. way, man, I love you Americans, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs>